Hi, my name is Hannah and I am the Vice President External at the Scarborough Campus Students' Union and today I am joined here with Felicia Samuel of the NDP party to discuss some issues and concerns that students are addressing with the upcoming provincial elections happening on June 7th. Um, so I'd just like to start by saying thank you for joining me today and we are interested in hearing your stance on these matters. Hey, thanks for having me. Okay, so just to start, um, we're going to discuss a question related to transit. So as you must know, Scarborough is a largely commuter hub and students are constantly just on the go. Um, we struggle with transit because of issues such as unaffordable rates or inaccessible routes. Uh, what does your party plan to do to address these growing transit concerns and transit issues? Okay, well, first of all, we plan to pay our fair share and we're looking at paying 50% of the transit and paratransit operating costs. So that's money going back into the system that we really need to, in order to develop transit. And especially when we look at Scarborough and the fact that you don't have enough transit that's quick, reliable, efficient coming to the East End, mm -hmm. we need that money to make sure that we are improving things out here in East Scarborough. Great. Well, thank you. That's interesting to know. Um, transit is something that affects everyone in our day-to-day -day lives because we're constantly commuting to get places. Um, so it's important to take note of that. So up until 1996, International students were covered under the Ontario Health Insurance Plan, which is OHIP. Does your party have any plans to reintegrate these international students into OHIP? Well, that's something we can definitely look at moving forward. But the way our plan is structured right now, we are looking at making pharmacare and dental care available for everyone who does not have benefits, no matter what their age. And that's what we're looking at right now, because that would be a huge change, one of the biggest changes, I would say, since the creation of OHIP. So that's our main focus for, for right now, but that would be definitely something that we look into in terms of supporting our international students and making sure that they have so, some kind of support as we move forward. Because we want to look out for students, we want to look out for people. Yeah, for sure. That's essentially what our platform involves, so that would be something to consider moving forward. Okay, okay. and so um, just another follow-up question, I guess, in regards to healthcare. Um, Students on campus experience increased levels of anxiety and depression um, due to various stressors, uh, which include the rising costs of post-secondary education um, and all the other responsibilities that um, we're being held to do. Um, and at the same time, our health services and our counseling services are being overwhelmed with having extremely long wait times um, on being understaffed or having limited resources. Um, what does your party plan to do to address uh, this mental health crisis in post-secondary education? So again, our party is looking at the big picture and overall supporting people who have mental health challenges and who need support and assistance. So we are developing a mental health strategy in order to look at families, look at people dealing with mental illness and seeing the best way to support them. And that is a big commitment in our platform. So students would be involved in that as well. They would be a part of that because they're part of the big picture that we're looking at in terms of supporting people with mental health needs. Access to health care, access to food or food services, um, those are really important things that we're considering. Um, and so just to move on to the next question. But before you do, if I can just add one okay. more thing. Yeah. So another thing that we are doing is we are making more investments in the elementary and secondary school system. Mm -hmm. And in terms of additional money, that would support kids who are dealing with mental illness from very young ages. So it doesn't just happen when you get to post-secondary, it's something that's happening from the time you enter school. Mm -hmm. And we need to do a better job of assisting parents to help diagnose these concerns early on mm -hmm. and make sure we're working to make them better. So when they get to university, we're already helping students. They, they know they can rely on a government that supports them and is trying to help them, to help them be better. It's great to hear. Um, okay, so on to a question regarding food security. So studies have shown that um, there is an increased number of students that are accessing food centers and food banks both on campuses and uh, within their communities. Um, and that's because the reality is that with skyrocketing um, post-secondary education fees or uh, costs of rent, um, students are finding it increasingly difficult to afford food in general. Um, and so this in turn impacts students' mental and physical well-being. Uh, what does your party plan to do to address food insecurity um, within the community and uh, for students? Okay. Well, again, part of the bigger picture is to work with the agricultural, sec the agricultural sector to make sure that we do have access to locally grown food mm -hmm. and enough food to really serve our population. And when we talk about supporting people, 
we have to look at how we can best support students. How can we make food available? How can we have access to that be easier for students? Mm -hmm. And that's something that as a party we'd be looking at improving for sure. Okay. Okay. Um, and so this last final question is regarding post-secondary education specifically. So students in Ontario, we pay the highest tuition fees in the entire country. Um, and so because of that, we're graduating with mortgage-sized debt and mortgage-sized student loans. Um, as a current undergraduate student, these are the realities that I face every day and I will continue to be facing. Um, so my question is, how does your party plan on addressing the rising costs of tuition fees and the crisis in post-secondary education. So again, affordability is a big part of our platform. Mm -hmm. And what's really exciting, I wish this was around when I was a kid and I, <laughs> I had OSEP and I had to pay back the loans, which are a pain. It comes up on you so quickly you don't even realize it. But what our party is doing is we will be forgiving the interest on those loans and paying it back to students, which is a huge help. And we want to convert those loans into grants so actually students don't have to worry about paying that back. So that would be a huge support for students. With our economy, we're still trying to stimulate it and have more jobs, mm -hmm. but this would be a way to support students until they get that next job, they get their first job, I would say. Mm -hmm. And another thing I would say about that is we also want to have co-op positions and internships as well in order to support students, because when you're trying to find a job here, you don't have the experience. How do you get the experience, right? So if we have co-op and internship positions available, that makes things much better, much easier for students. So that's really a really yeah. exciting part of our platform, yeah. so I'm glad you have that. So thank you. That is all that we have for right now. Um, just again, it's important that students' issues and concerns uh, be considered with these upcoming provincial elections on June 7th, as well as the actions that follow. Um, so thank you for providing your insight and your thoughts and your plans for the Scarborough Rouge Park riding. You're welcome.